we'll guide you through how to download and install AMD graphics drivers on your PC. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video, and let's get right into this. Firstly, you need to go and open up a web browser. Personally, I use Google Chrome, but you can use any browser you like, then just come to a search engine. And what you want to do is go and search for AMD drivers, just like so. And the website you want to go to is the official AMD one, amd.com, is the top one. And we've got two different options. What we can do is do the auto detect and install driver updates, or we can do the manual search. So this top one's gonna work fine for most people, but maybe you want to go and get the direct drivers for your device. If that's the case, then what you need to do is know what graphics card you've got. If you don't, just go and open up your device manager, just go and search for it, then expand the display adapters section and you'll see what AMD card you have and you'll be able to you know, fill out what this is and then you can go and get to the download like that and then press submit. In this case, I'll go and do this general search here. So I'm gonna tap on download Windows drivers like that and the download will then begin. After it's finished downloading, you can close off your browser and then you need to go and open up your file explorer and go to your downloads. Here's the installer, so then what I'll do is go and double click on it like this. You'll go and get a Windows security pop-up. I can't go and show you that uh, just because it doesn't record, but you will then go and get this pop-up here, which you can then go and press install on, and the installation is now starting. It's now checking my PC's hardware for driver and software compatibility. It's now found the best software and drivers for me. So I'm going to go and click on next and then I'll go and click on install. Here are the drivers that it's going to go and install for me and I'll then go and press install like this. It will go and do a few different downloads and installs and all you need to do is sit back and wait. After it's finished downloading, it will then go and say installation complete and you can then go and click on finish just like that and it's going to go and open up. What you can do is do the quick setup or you can skip this. In this case, I'll skip this, but if you're new to it, then definitely go through the quick setup and you can get everything going. If we go to the top right, we can go and see we've got the latest version of the driver and software. And if you want to go and check for updates, just click there and it's gonna go and check for you. And you can go and fully utilize this software. You can go into gaming and you can go and add games here um, and stuff like that. There's a lot to it and you can monitor stuff here as well. So yeah, I hope you did find this useful. Please leave a like.